Welcome back. A murder in rural Marion County nearly a year ago leaves a family still searching for answers. Last August, 26-year-old Travis Jetton and his wife were both brutally stabbed in their home in the middle of the night. Travis died in the attack and his wife was seriously hurt. Fox 12's Adrian Thomas spoke with Travis Jetton's mother about the family's latest efforts to seek justice. On August 13th, 2021, the Jetton family's lives changed forever. A year later, Marion County Sheriff's Office detectives are still trying to hunt down the person or people responsible for the murder of Travis Jetton. And the Jetton family is offering a large reward for anyone who comes forward with information about Travis's murder. When this happened, it, I would have never believed it for a million years. Travis was just an amazing young man. And um, so we are really struggling because we don't have answers. A year later and still asking why and who took the life of 26 year old Travis Jetton in a senseless act of violence. Travis's mother Myra remembering her son nearly a year after that night where Travis and his wife Jamalyn were both stabbed multiple times. Deputies with the Marion County Sheriff's Office were called to the Jetton family's farmhouse near Howe Prairie Road and Hazel Green Road near Silverton. Myra remembering her son as a calm and compassionate person with a big heart. He um, was kind to anybody, especially animals. He was 100% vegan because he couldn't bear to have an animal killed, you know, for food. So, you know, when you talk to Travis, he was, um, he just was a gentle soul. Myra tells us Travis loved living in Oregon after growing up in Southern California. She says Travis was planning on going back to school to get a business degree and had big plans for the future. His love for life and those around him, leaving his family and detectives puzzled at the seemingly random nature of his murder. As a mother, I cannot understand what Travis could have possibly done to had somebody do what they did to him. About a month ago, the Jetton family announced they will be giving a $50,000 reward to anyone who comes forward with information that leads to an arrest and conviction of the person who killed Travis. The family urging anyone who may know something to speak up. I'm pleading with them if they know anything, even if they think it's insignificant, to please call Marion County because we never know what that last piece of the puzzle is going to be. Detectives and Travis's family ask anyone with information to contact the Marion County Sheriff's Office. More on the family's efforts to get information on Travis's murder can be found at justicefortravis.com. We'll have a link to that along with this story on kptv.com. In studio, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12, Oregon.